Hello there fellow photoshoppers. It's me, Daniel, with Website Candy, and I just want to come over and give you a quick tip right here. What we have here is some images, and then here are the images that I'm working with. You see these right here are in the portrait, these right here are in the landscape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take that over there by holding shift. I'm going to come up here to convert to a smart object, hit command T. Then I'm going to hit Command-0 there, and you can see my portrait image right there is not really fitting well inside of the uh, landscape section that we have going on right there. So we want his whole entire head inside there and his entire body right there, and when I hit Enter and commit that, things look, you know, totally out of whack here. It's like, what the heck are we going to do in this situation right here? What we need to do is just go ahead and right click and rasterize the layer. What I also would like to do is I would like to go ahead and get rid of this background as well. We don't need that anymore. So once we get that layer rasterized, we can go ahead and we can hit the M key and then we can kind of make our selection there in reference to grabbing the rectangular marquee tool. Now I'm going to just hit command T and I'm just going to drag this over and hit enter there hit command D and it looks stretched out to us for the simple fact that you know we were sitting here looking at this and we know the difference between what it was before and what it is now I'm gonna jump right over here to my other photo and I want to show you another example as well I didn't do the other side just want to kind of get to this tutorial really fast here so as I drop the image on top of there right click go to a smart object hit command T and I'm going to hit Command-0 to see my handles here and holding Option and Shift I'm going to scale this down to the size that I need it in reference to being able to see the name on the shirt right there and I want to also be able to see her head as much as possible so let's go ahead and just pull this thing down right here and I'm getting a little bit of interference from Camtasia so we can see her shirt and we can also see her head right there as well so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come over here rasterize the layer right here by right click rasterize that layer hit M and I'm gonna grab this piece of the wall right here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit command T and I'm just gonna pull that over here to the right there and just hit enter and hit command D right there and we can kind of stretch that wall out we can kind of see what we got going on but let me go ahead and show you the final result right here so after working with it for a little while here these images right here have been stretched out you can see right here the lights and this portion of the wall over here and you can see this portion of the wall over here looks like just a bigger corner looks like more of a three-dimensional and the brown over here was stretched as well but the images look really good go ahead and give it a shot in Photoshop it's only about the fundamentals here not necessarily trying to show you how to work with the images that I'm working with but I want to kind of show you the fundamentals in reference to how to achieve achieve this type of result. Go ahead and give it a try. Let me know what you think. All right. Thank you. Goodbye now.